G'day, how are you doing? Hopefully you're doing very well, keeping healthy and safe. I'm doing pretty good on this side of the desk. Now the past four years, I have been playing and also reviewing Intel Knox. Now what they are, or what it really stands for, is Next Unit Computering. And really, it's really these computers where it's made trying to make it easier and more friendly to actually upgrade. And pretty much slide it out, which is a unit which has the processor and also the memory and also sometimes the storage as well. And you can take that out and put in the new version, which is later on yours, and away you go. So it's trying to make things easier. And wow, every year I get from Intel, these Intel Knox, they have very cool packaging. Now, the extreme is something that was very, very fun because the previous year it came in a wooden box and I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. And this year, when this rocked up to my house, I was like, wow, what is this? It pretty much rocked up in this big thing. And it is crazy because just like the thing they say this is extreme, that came in an extreme case. This is like nearly like a pelican case here. Whoa crazy it is big and i was like whoa they are serious this time so that's kind of cool just there i'm just gonna move this out of the way because it is large but i think with your production version you probably get a lot more more easier and easier case to play with it's probably a little bit less heavier than what this thing is anyway so this was just a more what you call engineering sample but what this thing has done is with the previous version, I like what they did with the previous version. They have grown it more, but this, they've grown it a lot more than that, but just a little bit enough, what I would say, for the bigger graphics card. And that's the one of the things that was a bit limiting on the previous gen, was that you can probably go up to sort of like a mid to mid upper class graphics card, where this one here, yeah, I think you can pretty much go all the way through. As I'm just going to kind of show you it here, right here. I'm going to just flip it up. So you just need to undo the back end and then you can lift the top up. And I'm just going to pretty much just pull this thing out. Now, this is a grill face, so that's really nice. You can see straight me straight through here. Hello. Anyway, I'm just going to move that over here. But you'll see the computer and the internal guts of this thing, yeah, how it is. So we've got the graphics card here. You see, it's a full blown size. Now, what this one is, is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. So that's a really powerful card. Right? And you can see this is a full blown card here. And then up above here is the compute unit, which is the contains the processor, memory, and storage. And that is the unit that you actually just swap, take out, and swap in. Is quite easy to actually take out and behind there i'm just going to show it right behind it is also the power supply now you just kind of most of the time leave the power supply in there now this power supply is a 750 watt power supplies and i know the next question is this is being a 3080 series ti it does already pull a lot of power is there the ability to actually put in the rtx 40 series geforce in there and i can say Kind of yes, no, because it really all depends on the physical dimensions on different brands of the RTX 40 series. Now, this being a 30 series graphics card, it is using two PCI slots. Now, with the 40 series, it does require free, and this does give you room to do free. And it really all depends on the length of it. Now, this is a really large one already, so I think this is most, I don't, I think most 40 series graphics cards would be probably about the same similar length here. And the power supply can probably just push it to the 4080. I don't know about the 4090, that's gonna be shaky, shaky, but 4080, definitely good there. Now. As again, it's going to be the physical sizing and more here it does have. Now, the one of the good things, parts of it, is that you can see the graphics card is facing well, this sort of way and you've got the fans facing towards the side. And as I said, this is going to be right against it. And the good thing is this being a grill is going to take in very good cool air rather than taking some hot air and then continually recirculating. So that is going to be good for a lot of the powerful graphics cards. So I like the new design of in this Intel Nook 13. So definitely nice to see that. And one of the things I have noticed is we've got a very plain sort of front here it is just plain here there's nothing there fancier we've got some usbs at the top so we've got usb c at the top and also two usb a on the top as well now we've got a nice good selection of ports at the back here here's the results of the benchmarks performed in the intel knock 13 extreme this one's configurable for i9 
13900K processor with 32 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte SSD, and the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. Here's the results for Plasma, Citibench R23, PC Mark, 3D Mark, Crystal Disk Mark, Geekbench 5, Procon Office, Procon Photo Edit, Procon Video Edit, Pugin Photoshop, Pugin Lightroom, Pugin Premiere Pro, Pugin After Effects, Pugin DaVinci Resolve, Blender, Luxmark, Burmark, Octane Bench, Eugene Engine, and Spec View Pre. And some gaming benchmarks like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Far Cry New Dawn, Far Cry 6, Cyberpunk 2077, and F1 2022. Looking at results, this thing is quick. This 13th gen Intel Core is absolutely crazy fast, and even though all most of the components are really compacted in a little small area compared to the whole of this computer, it is still able to produce this much performance and it still is air cooled. Absolute fantastic. Let's have a quick look at the internals. Now, first off is the this is the top side of the Nook 13. I've just got it upside down just to make things easier for you guys. Now, we've got the frame. Now, the frame is held in by five screws. So you just undo five Phillip head screws and we've got one Phillip head screw on the back end side to undo. And then this is pretty easy to take off. Now you can see the, the compute unit. Now we've got the processor fan on top here. And then we've got two sole dim slots for the memory. We also have the WAN or Wi-Fi card right here. Now to actually remove this compute unit, it's like kind of like a PCI slot. It's really easy to do. First off is we need to just unplug this cable here. And then there is a lever here, which you can just normally push down, but I'm going to push up because that's how it, and that pretty much like a graphics card. You should be able to just to wiggle this thing out. It's pretty wiggle that, and that is it. And then we've got the whole compute unit uh, out. Now I'm just going to wiggle a little bit out for you guys. I'm oh, sorry if I bumped the camera. Now, now, flip on the other side of this, we can see we've got three slots for the SSD, PCI A3. So I'll just quickly undo one just to, so you can see what it looks like on that. So, and they do take on 2280 format. So I'll just quickly just sort of show you to you. So we can actually see we've got three slots there. Now this is probably, it is something where you've got to take this thing out, but as you see it's really easy to take the compute unit to get to the storage, but you can at least assess the memory without having to take the compute unit out. I must say, to do the upgrades and also just disassembling the Nook 13 Extreme is a much easier than the Nook 12 Extreme as it's not as crazy compact as the previous. I like having that little extra wiggle room and I just don't get any what I call problems of getting scarred by the computer. So I think I like the size really, really much. The Intel NOC 13 Extreme is a very different beast from its predecessor. Gone are the pretty lights and we've got more of a, like a, a minimalistic, stealthy design. And I come from commercial and business computers. I kind of like that, but this is the Extreme, which is kind of more geared and marked towards the gamers. And they love their RGB lights. And this is kind of something that is missing. So I think Intel, It'd be good to actually bring in the RGB lights for this sector, especially the extreme here. But I definitely love the airflow of this and its ability to for upgrade paths. Just got enough room for all those things. So I like the actual new sizing of this, and it makes it just a little bit more upgradeability. And it's that Intel compute unit is very nice and easy to upgrade as well. Now, as for the performance, whew, is mind-blowing fast. I've got to agree, I was really blown by its scores that it's able to do and its speed and its consistency for it. Wow, that is fast. That's 13th gen Intel Core. Ooh, absolute fantastic. Now, I hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it. If you did, then support my channel. Smash that like button and share this video. It does help me out. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.